the ending of this book wasn't what I was expecting. One, two, three, let's switch this up. Hello and welcome back and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reading a very hyped up book and that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I unfortunately did not secure a copy of like the fancy one with like the sprayed edges, but it's okay. It's all good. I'm, I'm gonna pretend like it's sprayed. This book is super hyped. I don't fully know exactly what it's about. Something about a girl who goes to college for dragon riders and there's like a war and there's maybe a romance and I heard that there's some smut in it too. So that's about all I know. <laughs> I don't know if any of that's even accurate but that's about as much as I know about this book. But it's so hyped right now that I feel like I have to read it. I feel compelled by the internet to read this book. So hopefully I enjoy it. I really don't know. I heard that it was YA, then I heard that it was adult, then I heard that it was new adult. So I don't know what this book is, but I'm gonna be reading it. Meredith is doing some reading sprints for this book right now. I will tag her channel down below or link her down below. Um, but she's doing some reading sprints for it, so I figured might as well get started. I think that it's tomorrow for her today because she's in Australia. And so the read along starts where she is today, but like technically for me it's tomorrow. But I'm gonna start today anyway. But yeah, it's like dragons and stuff. I've never read a book with dragons in it before. So this should be interesting. This book is chunky and I don't like that. I don't like how big this book is. Four, nope, 515 pages. Oh wait, what? Chapter two, chapter two of what? I'm confused. This book is by Rebecca Yaros. Why does the back of the book have a book by Tracy Wolf? That's a completely different person, right? Or is Rebecca Yaros like a alias? I'm confused. I don't know if this is just like a weird thing that this book does or if I am just showing how much of a noob I am when it comes to fantasy. There is like the beginning of another book at the back of this book, which is normal. Like I know that books do that. <laughs> but usually it'll be like if there's another book by the same author. But the book that's in the, the, the chapters that are, I can't even speak English. The chapters that are in the back of this, is for a book by Tracy Wolf and Nina Croft. That is, do fantasy books normally do that? Maybe if I like this enough, maybe I'll spray the edges myself. Not that I have any idea how to do that, but I know it can be done. <laughs> Let me take this dust jacket off because I'm gonna end up ripping this thing up. Goodbye. We love a good map. Don't understand any of it. Ooh, Nav Navarre or whatever. I think that's where this book takes place, right? Yeah, Basgiath or whatever. That's like where the school is. Okay, look at me understanding things. Not really. Oh wait, there's another map, hold on. This is a map of just the college, like a campus map. I like the fact that they gave us a map of like the world and then a map of the school. I definitely appreciate that. I don't know if I'll use it, <laughs> but I appreciate that it's there. All right, I'm gonna actually read this now. <laughs> it to chapter eight I think I'm on page like 89 or something like that yeah 89 I was trying to get 100 pages in but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen because it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I have to go to work in the morning so I need to go to bed but so far my thoughts um it seems pretty easy to understand mostly they haven't talked about too many things that are like confusing and the things that they have talked about that I don't fully understand I don't think it matters right now <laughs> and hopefully by the time it does matter like they will have further explained it. There's a character who I thought was like such a sweetheart and uh, that character is not there anymore so that's a bummer. Wasn't expecting them to dip out so soon but all right. Not gonna lie kind of finding the main character Violet boring. I don't know she's just she's not interesting to me. I like the fact that she's smart. I like the fact that she's smart. She has a good memory. She's like you know a bookish girly so we love that for her. But besides the fact that she's smart and like reads books, there isn't anything necessarily interesting or that stands out about her. Right now I'm kind of just like, this girl is like super frail and like she's not supposed to be here and she's here against her will because her mom made her be here. Boo hoo, wah wah wah, like I don't care. Either kill her and let's pick a new main character or let's 
we gotta do something. Honestly, so far my favorite characters are Rhiannon and that's partially just because I like that name because it reminds me of the Stevie Nicks song. I have a feeling that the person that is like her childhood friend is either going to be in a love triangle with the main character and like the bad boy or she's gonna end up picking the bad boy as her love interest instead of picking the childhood friend. It's giving like, I don't know, I always relate things back to like the Vampire Diaries, but like Damon and like Stefan and Elena. So like Violet is Elena and then like, what's the boy name? Don, what is his name? Dane is like Stefan and then like Ryerson is Damon and you know how if you've watched Vampire Diaries then you know who she ends up picking, so. One of the things that I'm noticing is that some of these scenes are a little long, like, I feel like these scenes could be cut down a little bit like there's one scene in particular they are like in the gym or wherever where they have like the mats and they're like wrestling or fighting or whatever they're doing that scene felt really long that whole like fight sequence because it's like we got to watch some other people fight and then we got to watch Rhiannon fight then we got to watch Violet fight I'm just like can we just get to the point okay the point of the scene was to see what happens to to Violet we could have just skipped right to that like all the other stuff that happened leading up to it I felt like was just extraneous and could have been condensed and shortened and that's not the only scene that I felt like was too long that's just the most recent one that I've read so it's like fresh in my mind even though I'm almost 100 pages in I still feel like I've barely scratched the surface of this story like I feel like there's so much that is like that needs to happen in order to make this story interesting. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update on like what I'm feeling up to this point, but I will check in with you at some point after I read a little more. Hi, hello. So a lot has happened in like the last 24 hours basically since I started this book. I have read so much more of this book than I like expected to like so quickly. My plan was basically to finish in like 8 to 10, 8 to 12 days, something like that. I think it took me about 10 to 12 days to finish Akawar. Sorry about that, I had to make sure my house wasn't going to burn down. But I just started this book last night and I am already almost 40% of the way in, like almost halfway into this book in 24 hours which is crazy. I've been going back and forth between like the book obviously that you saw me reading yesterday but then also I had the audio from Libby. So far my least favorite characters are Dane and Tynan or something like that. I don't like them. I, we can get rid of them. I really did not like Violet, like was not feeling her, thought she was super boring, was nothing special about her. I'm just like, why does anybody care about this girl? But I still kind of feel that way. <laughs> but I do like the fact that she is like clever and like getting to see her find ways to accomplish things that she physically is not strong enough to do. I do like that the main character is like very self-aware. Like she literally comes out and says like, I'm not supposed to be attracted to toxic men, but here I am finding myself attracted to this toxic man. And I love that for her. I like the dragons that have come into the, the picture now. Um, the dragons and the fact that the dragons like her makes me like her. Like I like her because they like her. There are a lot of characters and there's also a lot happening. Like I've already seen like five characters die. <laughs> so there's definitely a lot that happens in this book and I can only imagine what is gonna happen for like the next 60% like I still have so much more to go. There were literally moments like I remember like at the end of like chapter 14 and like 15 somewhere in there where like I don't know but the way that I was reading it and the way that like the audio was like being narrated it felt like I was like watching a play or something and like I literally wanted to like applaud like when the chapter was over it was weird I've never had that happen to me when I'm reading a book it was so weird but I literally felt like the urge to like physically applaud at the end of the chapter I don't necessarily understand the hype per se but like this book is kind of addicting like I, it is very easy to get into easy to like understand what's going on you can enjoy a book and be like wow like that was really good 
And if someone asks, you're like, oh, you should check this out. Versus like falling in love with a book and feeling like you have to tell the first person you see and then every person after that. Like that to me is where it's the difference is. Like I don't feel like this is a book that like after I finish it, I'm gonna go out and tell all my friends like you should read this book. But I am enjoying it and I do understand why people like it. So I'm currently making dinner and I'm gonna keep listening to the book while I'm finishing up in the kitchen. Now I am up to 26, you probably can't see this, but chapter 26 is where I am now. So I am moving right along through this book, which is amazing. The audiobook says that I'm like 65% of the way in, which is crazy given the fact that I just started this like three days ago. Up to chapter 26 and I have thoughts. I don't even know where to begin. There was like a cast of like 100 characters and we're down to like 11. I actually think that I like the side characters more than I like the main characters. Like I hate Dane. Can't stand him. And I, I like didn't like him kind of from the beginning. Chapter 23. Let's talk about the argument that Dane and Violet have in chapter 23. I will direct your attention to page 285 when the beginning of this argument starts. I already didn't like him. And this argument just solidified that so hard for me. This man had the whole audacity to come for Violet when he was dead wrong. Dead wrong, absolutely wrong. I said this a million times, but I like Rhiannon. I like Rydick or Rydick, whatever his name is. Um, I love Liam. Liam might be my new favorite character. What? I have no idea like who Violet is gonna end up with because right now she's not technically with anybody. Could be Dane, hope it's not. Could be Zayden, but if it's Liam, that would be so much better. Like I want them together. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen, but I want it to happen so bad. He's like her little bodyguard. He made her a little like carving of like her dragon. The only character that I disliked more than Dane was Tynan. And I'm so happy with what happened with that character. So happy, thrilled, jubilant. I know a lot of people don't like the mom. I don't really care about the mom. She really is like a non-factor in my mind. Like I forget she's even there most of the time until people bring her up. But I will say the beginning of this book, I don't think I said this earlier, but the beginning of this book, like the opening when it's like Violet and her sister and her mom and they're like talking and whatever about her going into this college, it was giving major like Cadet Kelly vibes. I don't know if anybody else felt that way, but I was like 100% picturing like Christy Carlson Romano in this scene playing the sister or even the mother, like either or. I feel like if this was gonna be like turned into an adaptation, please have Christy Carlson Romano play either Mira or the mom. I I don't like the fact that it seems like she at this point she is only surviving and being protected because if they don't protect her then that puts Zayden in danger so it's not really like people are doing it for her or because they like her or have loyalty to her or anything to do with her it's like they're really just doing it for him it's kind of like giving all the credit to him and making it seem like she's only alive because of him their dialogue together violet and Z zayden there's something about them that just feels a little cringy i don't i don't know what it is i respect the fact that she is very determined and that she you know doesn't give up and that she really has faith in herself even when other people might not have faith in her i respect that about her I think that sometimes she puts herself in very dangerous situations that she then has to be rescued from, like a damsel in distress, and I don't like that, but I, I like her moxie. <laughs> I really want like a strong betrayal, like I want somebody that she's like super close to to like turn on her. I don't know, or, or Zayden, somebody that's super close to him, like if it's, what's that guy's name, like Garrett or something, or Brody, I don't know what these guys' names are, but it's something like that. I just feel like this book is so long there's got to be some betrayal in this book somewhere right i'm thinking that maybe and this is kind of based on like what you read in like the synopsis of the book i'm thinking that either a the people that we are led to believe are like the bad guys or like the rebels or whatever they're called are not actually the bad guys history has just been written in a way that makes them look bad or they were the bad guys but 
the people that we're led to believe are the good guys weren't as innocent as they have led everybody to believe. Like they probably got their hands a little dirty and did some messed up stuff as well. That is the update for today. And we'll see how far I get the next time I update you, which will hopefully be tomorrow. father killed her brother but if her brother's been alive this entire time and Zayden knows her brother's been alive this entire time why did he allow her to stay mad at him all this time like I don't understand he could have brought her here and like showed the brother a long time ago I kind of don't care that Brennan's alive especially since Liam is still dead and where are Rhiannon and Riddick <laughs> where is everybody else at Oh, my battery's dying. I forgot that was even still recording. Finished fourth wing. I don't know what to rate it. The ending of this book wasn't what I was expecting. Am I going to read the next book? Most likely because I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> but... I just I don't even know like where to start with the ending of this book there was this super long battle scene one of my favorite characters died and I am absolutely devastated like I feel personally attacked this character is now dead I feel like the least Rebecca could have done is waited until the second book to kill this character off like if you're going to kill them at least let them make it to the second book and then kill them I feel like it was rude to kill them in this book. Also, there's a bunch of characters that you don't even know where the heck they are. So hopefully it picks up in the next book so we know like where they're at. We don't even know where they are, if they're okay, what they're doing, like just no status update by the end of the book on these characters. The relationship between Violet and Zayden is still not there for me. It was there a little bit more towards the end, like at the very end, because the very end it's told is the only chapter in the entire book that's told from Zayden's perspective so kind of hearing him talk about his feelings about her and like their relationship it like kind of helped and maybe that would have helped if we had gotten a little bit more of that throughout the book but even still them as a couple like their their tension their romance their story like I just don't buy into it I think that it would have been great if we could have had a thruple but that's not gonna happen now because the person that I wanted to be part of the thruple is now dead. I think sometimes too, this book was a little like on the nose of certain things. Like it would literally like spell stuff out for you. And maybe if, you know, if this was, a, if this was actually a YA book, like it, I would be able to understand like why it's spelling it out. Cause it's like for a younger audience that may not get certain things or pick up on certain things. But I believe this is a new adult book, which whatever that means. But I would expect that it, things wouldn't have to be spoon fed to the audience the way that it was in this book. Does it feel like a four star? It's definitely not five stars. But like, is it a four star? It's, mm, I'll give it a 3.75. That'll be my rating. Locking it in now on Storygraph, it's official. I do believe that this is not the author's debut novel, but I believe this is her first fantasy novel because she did like romance before this. So for this to be like her first crack at fantasy, I will say this actually is really good. Dragons, wars, politics. I will say that overall, this book was a good time. And I think that if you would like fantasy, if you like adventure and action, I really hope that some of these side characters end up getting their own books 
or I hope that in future books we get more than just Violet's POV. So yes, those are all of my thoughts that I can muster at this point. <laughs> um about fourth way if you have thoughts if you've read this book you want to comment down below and share your thoughts on the book go ahead and comment away i love talking about this book if you have not read this book let me know what you think about this book like will you be picking it up after watching this or you're like nah i'm good comment down below if you would want to see a vlog for when the second book comes out my socials and links as always are down below in the description box be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.